Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create the virus warning message using Python, which will be triggered when you try to access any application, let's say Google Chrome. So when you are online to search for any article or you want to download any software and you click on the add link instead of the actual link then you are redirected to any website which say that you have a threat of virus on your system download this software to avoid that so we are gonna create somewhat like this but this application or this virus virus threat message will be triggered when you run any application let's say that I want to trigger that warning message when I try to access Google Chrome so when I click on Google Chrome I have this warning message you have virus warning something like that so this is a fun project and it is actually very easy you'll see in just few steps I'm gonna show you how you can create this and it can be fun let's say that your younger sister or brother is trying to access your system and they get this when message they will be like freaked out oh my god what just happened <laughs> so this is a fun project and let's get started to our programming okay so first let's import the libraries which will be required import this Now let's create the Kinter window which will act as the display screen for our message root.geometry let's say 700 by 250 and then we'll create our uh, label which will display the warning let's say virus <laughs> and we'll the text will be you have virus warning and the font will be chimes and the size will be 50 bold uh, then we'll grid our virus um, label into the kinter window Add the row second, add the column zeroth, and the pad y or the distance from the y axis will be 20 units, and from the x axis it will be 20 units. Now let's call our function which will change the color after every few seconds do not forget to close our main loop so let's create our color change function no parameters will be provided first of all we'll create a list of colors that you want to display let's say red yellow and blue and 
orange okay so now let's configure our virus label config and then the background which will change the color will be random dot choice now this is the class from the random package uh, which will automatically choose a random value from these four values from the list one now this virus uh, label will be changed after every 200 microseconds and we'll call the function color change after every 200 microseconds now let me take a few minutes to explain you this bit of code first of all we have imported all the libraries required then we have created a kinter window which is of the size 700 by width and 250 by height then we have created our virus label which will show the warning like you have virus warning or something and this will be of the font style times new roman of the size 50 and it should be bold then we have gridded or implemented this virus label into our kinter window at the row second column 0 -th, and the distance from the y axis is 20 and from the x axis is 20 after all this now after this label we have called our color change function first of all we have created a list of all the colors that you want to just splash in and then we have configured the label that okay this will be the background color of your label now you can also change the text after every 200 microsecond by configuring the text also here and uh, we have randomly chosen any of these four color by using the random dot choice and then this virus uh, label will be changed after every 200 microsecond and the function which will help in the changing will be color change function which is this itself we have closed our main loop let's save this file and now what you need to do is rename this file as pyw so that it becomes executable and let's create a batch file one dot bat yes let's open this with sublime text now what you need to do is first of all write at the rate echo of now I will explain you why I am creating this bat file and what I am doing just wait for a few seconds just write echo of and write start um, and then go back to the folder and just select this properties and select the path of this file and paste it here the name is one dot pyw uh, yeah okay so the name is one dot pyw and start another one go back to file manager let me close this one and this pc c drive program file 86 google 
क्रोम एप्लीकेशन बेसिकली गो टू दोल्डर वेर यू हैव योर क्रोम एग्जीक्यूटिबल फाइल देर इज ऑल्सो अ शॉर्टकट टू एक्सेस दिस गो टू द गूगल शॉर्टकट है गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज क्लिक ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज एंड देर यू कैन सी दिस इज द पाथ एंड वॉट यू एल्स कैन डू इज यू कैन कॉपी फ्राम हेयर ऑल्सो कॉपी द लिंक फ्राम हेयर पेस्ट इट हेयर remove the extra inverted commas and now you are good to go now let me explain you what are we doing here we have created a batch file which will be connected to our google chrome shortcut now if the user click on this google chrome shortcut it will not call the google chrome executable this but it will call this batch file which will be providing the path and this batch file will automatically call these two applications first is the google chrome application and second our virus warning python file application so let me show you the next step go to google chrome properties go to your application not here not this one and select the batch copy this path and paste it here the name was 1.bat and i guess we are good to go let's click on the google chrome one and there you can see you have a virus warning so we can also increase the width of of our kinta window so that the whole message is visible so this was a fun project and you can just freak out a few people <laughs> you can make it a more scary and this was a fun project so this is it and i create such short videos on my channel so if you love such short projects then surely check out my channel and i'll meet you there bye bye